Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.14.4. We're going to be going over every single step of getting shaders in 1.14.4. But first we have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you were looking for a great Minecraft server for you, your friends, for any Anyone to play on and to run bucket spigot whatever you want to do with the minecraft server you can do it with apex minecraft hosting so go check it out at the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right on into getting shaders now you might be like nick this is optifine this is optifine i wanted shaders well we're going to be looking at some shaders packs here but optifine is what is used to install shaders you have to download optifine you have to install optifine in order to run shaders all shaders packs these days are ran through optifine and that's why we've got optifine here so whenever you get started with shaders you're going to go to the second link down below and you're actually going to download optifine this is our in-depth tutorial on downloading optifine and actually where the link in the description will take you where you can then click on the green download optifine button where we go to optifine's official download page here and guess what you'll be able to see right here optifine find 1.14.4 minecraft 1.14.4 it is out officially for 1.14.4 no preview versions or beta versions it's officially out when this video is uploaded so nevertheless let's go ahead opt to find 1.14.4 here scroll over and click the mirror button don't click on download click on mirror if you click on download it'll take you off to adfly however if you click on mirror it'll take you off to this which is the download page for this version of optifine once you're here go ahead and click on the download optifine 1.14.4 button and it will download optifine in the bottom left now it will ask you to keep this file and as long as it starts with optifine and ends with dot jar which ours does we're good to go ahead and click keep on this file on google chrome now on mozilla firefox it's going to pop up in the center of your screen it said do you want to save this file and yes you do again as long as it starts with optifine and ends with dot jar now we're not done yet after all we are installing shaders packs here and not uh not optifine even though we need optifine for shaders so what do we do to get shaders well we need a shaders pack and here is our list linked in the description down below the third link down below is actually this our list of the top five shaders packs for minecraft 1.14.4 all of these are updated and completely working in 1.14.4 you can kind of take your pick as to whatever shaders pack you want to install here for us, we're going to be installing Continuum. This is actually my personal favorite. That's why I'm installing it. So once you're here, go ahead and click on this green download button under Continuum, and it will take you off to Continuum's download page, where you can go ahead and click on the Download Continuum Releases button. And then it finally takes you off to where you can download Continuum 2.0, the most recent release of Continuum. Click on Download there, and it downloads in the bottom left. You don't need to save this file or anything, but if you do, it should start with Continuum and end in .zip, and as long as it does that, you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have two things. We have Optifine 114.4 because we need that for shaders or Continuum or whatever shader you're installing. And we have Continuum because we need Continuum to install Continuum into Minecraft because that's the shaders pack we're installing. This will work for any shaders pack, by the way, not just Continuum, but that's the one that we're using here. Now, what if these aren't on your desktop. What if you've downloaded these, you can't find them? Well, no worries. They're in your downloads folder. Go ahead and click on the Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, but the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon there. Click on that and then type in downloads, right like so. Then you'll have a downloads folder right here. Click on that and inside of this downloads folder, you'll have Optifine and Continuum. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once these are on your desktop, we can start off with Optifine. So let's go ahead and right click on Optifine, click on open with, and then click on Java TM platform SE binary. But what if you don't have that? Or what if you do have Java TM Platform SE Binary, you click on it and it doesn't work? Well, no worries, we have a solution for you. You need to download Java. And we have a link in the description down below that shows you how to download and install Java for Minecraft, Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods, and more. And Optifine and shaders are Minecraft mods, so you wanna install this Java here. Come down through here. This goes through every single step of getting Java installed. Everything you need to know, everything you need to set up, all of that stuff is done. It's three easy steps. Now, once you've done this, you should be able to right click on Optifine and open with Java. However, if you don't, it still doesn't work. You clicked on it and you have, let's say you have the jar, uh, Java you know, open with there, but it doesn't work. Well, what do you do? You need to run the jar fix. Well, the jar fix here is a very, very simple program that's just, you know, Step one, step two, step three, all of that stuff. Very, very easy. Download the program, run it, and guess what? You're done. It's that easy. And it connects jar files back to Java. Sometimes, for some reason, 
things will go weird on your computer and jar files will stop working with Java. They might be Notepad, WinRAR, or something like that. If that's the case, you need to download the jar fix because that's gonna hook them back to Java for you and get things working properly. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser. We can finally right click on Optifine, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. This will open up our handy dandy Optifine installer here where we just wanna click on this blue install, well not blue, just install button here. Once we click on this install button, it'll go ahead and well, install Optifine. It's that easy. As you can see, Optifine is successfully installed. If it doesn't say Optifine is successfully installed, then you need to go run Minecraft 1.14.4 with no mods installed, no anything like that. You just need to run vanilla Minecraft 1.14.4 and you'll be good to go. If you want more information on how to do that, click the I at the top of your screen to see exactly how to do that. Now let's go ahead and click OK here and it will close out of that handy dandy Optifine installer there. But now we need to install shaders. How do we do that? Well, we open up the Minecraft launcher, right? So we open up Minecraft launcher here. And once you're here, next to the play button, you have this little arrow. See that little arrow next to the play button? Click on that. And in here, you should have an Optifine version. As you can see right there, Optifine. And it should say 1.14.4 Optifine. If it does, go ahead and click on that version and click play. But if it doesn't, what do you do? Well, you come up here to the installations tab in the menu bar of the Minecraft launcher and then click on new. Once you've clicked on new, you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We're actually gonna be testing shaders on it a little later in this video. But we have grief protected survival with player-based economy. We also have grief protected survival with a slash shop-based economy. And we have custom Skyblock, 100% custom Skyblock. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Over 300 players online every single day. Now, after you've named your profile here, we need to click this version drop down right here, this version drop down. And then you'll see release 1.14.4 dash Optifine. Click on that. I'm going to change my resolution real quick to 1080p and then go ahead and click the green create button. At this point, you'll see your profile just appear in this list of installations. For us, it's called play.breakdowncraft.com. It just could be called something else, but what we want to do is come over here and click the green play button that appears when we hover over, hover over that installation. That will then go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.14.4 with Optifine, but we still need to install shaders. Luckily, this is very, very simple. The hardest part of installing shaders is installing Optifine. Now, literally, all you're going to need to do is uh, click a few buttons and drag and drop something. It's, it's that easy. So once we're on the Minecraft main menu, what we want to do is immediately head to Options. See the Options tab there? Click on that and then click on the Video Settings tab. Once you're in here, you want to come over to Shaders and click on Shaders. Now, you might run into a, to a little issue, right? Let's say, uh, let's say you run into this issue right here, if I can find it. Excuse me, it's been a second. So there we go. As you can see, it won't let me do that. But if you do have an issue with it saying fast render is on, what you need to do is click on performance in the video settings tab and then turn off fast render. Then you'll be able to click on the shaders tab over here. Once you're in the shaders tab, we need to click on the shaders folder button in the bottom left of the shaders menu. See, it just says shaders folder. Click on that and a folder will open up. This is our shaders folder here where we wanna go ahead and drag and drop Continuum, the shaders pack we downloaded or whatever other shaders pack you downloaded, whether it's Silda shaders, whether it's Sonic Ether shaders, it doesn't matter what shaders pack it is, just drag and drop it into your shaders packs folder here. Then it might automatically appear in the background as Continuum did. If it doesn't, no worries. Just click done and then come back over to the shaders tab here and then you'll see your shaders pack. Now to select it, just click on it and it will go ahead and select your shaders pack. Now, there are some options over here. These are more of quality options, you know, up your render quality and things like that, but there are more options to shaders and they're in the bottom right. You see the shaders options button? Go ahead and click on that and here you can change some other settings about shaders. Continuum doesn't have as many as other shaders packs, but there is some cool stuff in here. Like you can come in here and change your lighting settings, change your cloud settings. Let's say you wanna make things brighter, you can do that here. Now, you can also in your shaders options tab, change material settings and whether water power parallax is on and general parallax, refraction, all of that stuff is there. So pretty cool stuff and uh, pretty easy to change it with the shaders packs, but a lot of people don't know that shaders options button is there and that unlocks a whole entire new area of shaders packs. Nevertheless, once your shaders pack is selected, you've configured it over here and configured it in shaders options. We can go ahead and click done and uh, we'll jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, 251 people online on a random Thursday. Let's go ahead and double click on that. And I think we're joining right on into our medieval survival world, which is our player-based economy survival world. Absolutely incredible. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. It's down at the bottom. I'll stop talking about it. Let's just look at how beautiful this shaders pack is.
wow. <laughs> I love Continuum. Continuum is actually my favorite shaders pack because of how bright it is. I feel like so many shaders packs are just so dark. Look at that water. Wow. Are just so dark in the daytime and stuff, but Continuum is not. It is a bright, light, and fun shaders pack, and that's what I like about it. I feel like it's not, it doesn't take itself too seriously or anything like that, and like I said, that's what I love about it. I think that is a great screenshot. Let's go ahead and grab that right there. Boom, and then we'll grab one more. There we go. All right, cool, cool. We can also check out our spawn here in Continuum. This is the medieval survival spawn, epic castle. Walls, epic castle back here. Just load the chunks up real quick. Boom. And look at that. Absolutely incredible. You can see the shadow of everything back down over the town of Brookhaven. And then we'll do uh, we'll do pea time night real quick. And uh, oh, see how dark this is? Wow. So we can actually come down here to the bottom and see. Let the light adjust a bit here and see some of the shaders. Now we also can change this in those shaders options. If you don't like your, your leaves waving or your grass waving or whatever, you can change that in those shaders options we were talking about. But look at how menacing the castle looks at night with the shaders back on. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, I think you all now know how to download and install shaders in 1.14.4. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I can't wait to see you on Play.BreakdownCraft.com. Anyway, I am out. Peace.